Like just about every other Mac app, the Finder has a settings window that we can open from the Finder menu up here. To change what icons will or will not be displayed on the desktop, go to Finder Settings and the General tab. As I check or uncheck hard disks and external disks, you can see the corresponding icon appear or disappear on the desktop. What you keep checked here is going to depend on which items you utilize and your preference as to whether or not you want their icon to show on the desktop. For a minimalist look to the desktop, keep these unchecked. Also from here in the general pane, we can set what a finder window will display when first opened. Currently, this is set to our Documents folder. Use Command-N to open a new Finder window, and the contents of the Documents folder is displayed. Switch this to iCloud Drive, and the next time a new Finder window is opened, the contents of that folder is displayed. Below, we have an iCloud setting. With this check, the Desktop and Documents folder for the current user account is going to be synced with iCloud and thus contained in the iCloud Drive folder. This can also be set from iCloud System Settings. Next over is the Tag section. We can use tags on files or folders to make them easier to find. Here in Finder Preferences, we can set which of our tags to display in the Tags section of the Finder sidebar. Just check or uncheck the tags to include. At the bottom here, we can set up our favorite tags. Just drag and drop to add or remove them. These will then be available to apply to any file or folder when we right or control click on it in the Finder. In the Sidebar tab of Finder settings, we can display what items will be displayed in the Finder sidebar. The Finder sidebar exists in every Finder window. So you're probably going to want to display items that are used quite often. I'm going to hide AirDrop and show the Pictures folder here in my sidebar. Over in the Advanced pane, we can choose to display the file name extensions for all files. File extensions are usually just a dot followed by a few letters that let you know the file type such as .pdf or .pages for a pages document. This is just going to be a personal preference if you like to see the file extensions or not. Next we have a few warning options that can be turned on or off. I like showing a warning for changing a file extension or emptying the trash. We can also now turn off the warning that occurs when removing a file from our iCloud Drive. With this checked, anytime we try to move a file that's in iCloud Drive to a folder that's not in iCloud Drive, a warning box will appear. I find that this can get annoying, so I leave this option unchecked. Check the Remove Items from Trash After 30 Days option to have your Mac automatically permanently delete things that have been in the trash folder for 30 days. This is a good way to prevent the trash from becoming over full and possibly affecting the performance of your Mac. Check this box and in Finder Windows, folders are always going to appear on top of individual files when they're sorted by name. This will work in every Finder view. We can also apply this same rule to our desktop as well. In the bottom menu, we can set where the Finder will look when performing a search directly from a Finder window. This setting will not affect how a search occurs from Spotlight. Currently, Search This Mac is selected. If we enter a search for the term ICE while viewing the Documents folder in this Finder window, a really long list of results is displayed because this searched the entire Mac. Click on Documents up here 
and only this documents folder is searched. That limits the results to just a few files. So I usually like to change this preference to always look in the current folder rather than the entire Mac. We can always search the entire Mac by using Spotlight. 